uh, uh, a man announcement this morning that uh, Austin will go out in medical scholarship going forward and that uh, it's something that he and I uh, discussed quite a bit uh, over the last couple of months after spending uh, really a year, almost a year, observing him, his, uh, his progress both on and off the court. And it seemed like uh, the, the right thing to do um, after a lot of discussion, right? So we're here really to answer any questions that you have. I'd be very transparent with it, because obviously it's a, uh, it's been a, a tremendous uh, story of, of grit and confidence and, and hard work um, that I think will continue in the right way. Uh, just right now, he will, uh, he'll, be, he'll be practicing with us on a, a limited time, uh, maybe reduced to about half the amount of time, and making it mandatory for him still to lift, to continue to work at his body. Uh, he'll be in some drills. He will help us uh, as a student assistant. Uh, what assignments I'm going to give him, I don't really know right now. Uh, but this will allow him to really uh, concentrate and focus on his academics. And, uh, and service in other ways, community relations. Uh, I think that that's going to be a great thing for him to represent our, our program and our brand by speaking with young, uh, uh, young people all over the, all over the country if, if we can. Uh, and then uh, he'll remain with every, every single resource that our, every benefit that our current players get right now, he will get. Whether it's gear, whether it's a, uh, you know, his locker, uh, tutoring services, summer school, everything in that regard is exactly the same. So uh, I don't think you can do this at a lot of universities. I, I believe we have four or five medical scholarships right now on different teams. Uh, I, think, I think Austin is the fifth, I believe. So uh, he's actually excited about it, and uh, uh, we entertain any questions that you'd have. Austin, you've talked about how much Coach Beeline has done for you in this program. Was it hard to come to the point where you thought, okay, I, I won't be on the floor again? No, it was not hard. Um, just the fact of the matter is, the academics are my, my academics are the priority for me. Um, and I'm not going to be a pro basketball player, obviously, but I'm going to have to learn and become a pro at something in life. So I'm excited for the opportunity to focus on my studies. Austin, as you look back at this season, what, what sort of stands out in terms of memories that you'll take forward from it? Is there, is there any Absolutely. One, or two, one or two moments in particular that you look back to? Yeah, the free, free throws, obviously, are memories that versus Coppin State. Um, the, those, were, the, those are the memories I'll have for the rest of my life. Um, you know, scoring, scoring at in Chrysler Center for, for representing the University of Michigan. Um, that's something I'll never forget. And um, just just the brotherhood that, I, that we formed here with my teammates. and. I'll be, I'll be real, real, real brief with you. Um, like I, I really, to be completely honest, I didn't know, you know, how I was going to be coming here. Obviously, my role on the court is limited, but all my teammates have really embraced me, and they appreciate all that I can contribute to the team in whatever capacity that it is, um, on the floor, in the locker room, in the in the classroom, and they're they're all just great, a great, great group of guys.